Welcome to electrical point. In this video, I am going to explain the steady state stability of electric drive. So, we all know that a drive is in equilibrium condition when the developed motor torque exactly equals the load torque. Or from the equation of dy dynamic torque, we can say that that is Tm minus Tl is equal to Z times DDT of omega m. From this equation, we can say that when Tm is equal to Tl, the dynamic torque will be zero. Or we can say that uh, in equilibrium condition, the drive will not accelerate or deaccelerate. Now, a disturbance may affect this equilibrium condition. It may affect it, it in three ways. Uh, after the disturbance, the drive may again attain equilibrium condition. Now, in some cases, the drive may continuously increase in speed okay so it will accelerate uh, on uh, or in other case the drive may uh, there may be continuous decrease in speed or the drive may deaccelerate okay in this bottom two cases the drive will never regain its uh, equilibrium position so uh, these two equilibrium uh, equilibrium condition is known as, known as unstable equilibrium okay unstable equilibrium or in this case as yes, the drive again attain equilibrium condition it is known as stable equilibrium let us see all the three cases using speed torque curve we have tl as the, as the load torque curve which represent the variation of torque with respect to speed similarly we have motor torque curve now uh, the intersection of both this curve will represent the equilibrium point as here the magnitude of load torque and machine torque will be equal and the drive will not undergo any acceleration or deacceleration now let the equilibrium speed be omega naught okay now suppose due to some disturbance the uh, speed is increased a little bit okay suppose here the new speed is this one omega one now in this case you can see that the load torque is greater than the machine torque and if we write the dynamic torque equation that is Tm minus Tl as uh, Tm minus Tl is negative the drive will deaccelerate okay this term will be negative and the drive will deaccelerate so the speed will decrease and it, it will again attain the equilibrium position where the speed will be omega naught okay now suppose uh, in, so, in some case some other case the speed is slightly decreased due to some disturbance okay now suppose the speed is omega 2 at omega 2 speed you can see that the machine machine torque is greater than the load torque okay the machine torque is greater than the load torque and here this term is positive so the drive will accelerate and again it will uh, regain its original speed by increasing the speed now we can say that this equilibrium position is stable equal equilibrium okay let us see another case uh, in this case if we increase the speed suppose we have increased the speed to omega 1 in this case you can see that in this new position the machine torque will be greater than the load torque will be greater than the load torque so this term will be positive therefore the uh, drive will accelerate and the, it will further increase the speed of the drive okay so the drive will go on increasing its speed and it will never able to regain the original equilibrium position and similarly if we decrease the speed of the drive suppose we have de decreased the speed to omega 2 due to some disturbance now in this position you can see that uh, load torque is greater than the machine torque therefore the drive will deaccelerate and eventually the drive will come to halt therefore we can say that this point is this equilibrium point is unstable equilibrium okay from the above two example we can conclude that for stable equilibrium in case of increase in speed we have to deaccelerate de the dive so that it again regain its uh, equilibrium speed so change in load torque must be greater than the change in the motor torque 
and in case we decay the disturbance decreases the speed of the drive then we have to accelerate it again to the equilibrium position so the motor torque must be greater than the load torque or you can say the load torque must be smaller than the motor torque in both the cases you can see that the rate of change of load torque with respect to speed must be greater than the rate of change of machine torque that is when the speed increases the load torque must increase rapidly than the motor torque so that it can deaccelerate the drive back to the equilibrium speed okay and when the speed decreases the load torque must decrease faster than the uh, machine torque uh, so that the excess motor torque can uh, accelerate the drive back to the equilibrium speed therefore mathematically we can write that the change of load torque with respect to speed must be greater than the motor torque Okay, this is the condition of stability. The derivation is not that required, you must know the condition. Uh, so you can verify the condition in both the cases. In the first case, you can see that the load torque curve is greater than the machine torque curve. The slope of load torque curve is greater than the machine torque curve. Therefore, this is this is stable equilibrium, it satisfies this condition. In the second case, the slope of load torque curve is less than the machine torque curve therefore it is unstable equilibrium as this does not satisfy this condition in some questions the axis may be intersense that is in y axis we will have omega and in x axis we will have torque and in that case be careful while applying this condition suppose we are taking the same condition okay this is the load torque and this is the machine torque now in this case we have to apply this condition only. so you can see that the rate of change of load torque with respect to omega is less than the rate of change of machine torque with respect to omega this is similar to the similar to this case but in this case the equilibrium point this equilibrium point will be unstable because it is not satisfying this condition and that's it for today hope you have liked the video share it among your friends and do subscribe my channel thank you